Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome guys. If you're just discovering the channel, please do click like, share this video, subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow and also ring that bell so you know when I go live. Aries, this is your week ahead look the predictions, the forecast. This is your full oracle card spread here on YouTube. And there's always an extended video if you choose to watch it, if you want a little bit more. Um, I do a full tarot card spread to extend this reading and also go into a romance specific reading as well. So that link is below. Let's get right into your reading. Aries sun, Aries moon, Aries rising, Aries Venus, wherever Aries influences your natal chart, you can take these energies and apply them. Uh, for the next seven days. And remember, if it doesn't fit, fit please don't squeeze it. <laughs> just, just don't, don't, don't try to make it. Um, don't try to make it something that it that it can't be. Um, but this is uh, general energies for all kinds of situations and circumstances, and all kinds of areas. So let's get into your energy. We have your crowning out already. Let's see what else is going to come out. Aries. Aries, Aries. Give with gratitude and grace. The abundant universe will provide. Embrace the in-between. If you're waiting, if you feel like things have been stagnating or they're in idle, there's actually a great deal of abundance right now. There also is this little bit of a sort of ambiguity, which can be very good, almost like you're happy with it. It's almost like a relief, Aries, because maybe things were getting too, going too fast or getting too heavy or uh, too much. And right now, the greatest gift is to just have them be a little bit stagnant and lost in limbo for a second. Not necessarily lost, but just sort of being buoyant, finding some sort of balance. Um, uh, between so much, there's a lot of abundance here, but abundance can be intimidating even in and of itself if it's coming in all at once. So there's something that's a little bit too much is what I'm saying. A little bit too much extra, 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 a little bit too much extra, but give with gratitude and grace and the abundant universe will provide I honestly feel, Aries, that there is something that has been unknown, stagnant, or confused. The cards are saying, take the leap of faith, commit yourself or invest, because the universe will come right back around and give it all back to you. Jump and let your wings grow on the way down because it will. You can take this leap. You can decide to um, invest. You can trust, you can do this. You have the ability, you have the resources. It's not going to, or this is about a situation where you did take this leap of faith. And we're gonna get more into it in the cards because this, a, a, a uh, this is just the crowning energy. There's a mentality of having enough and being able to move, being able to sustain yourself, that everything will be okay if you take this leap of faith because the universe is going to come back around and provide you with everything that you need. So there's some question in your mind. There's some doubt. You like things a little bit more defined. It's interesting because you do have that cardinal fire energy but you do like to feel sure. And there's something here that the, all the questions aren't answered, all the T's aren't crossed, all the I's are not dotted. But you're, you're, almost, you're almost sort of being backed against the wall, which you don't like. And the universe is saying, are you gonna do it? This is something that you have to commit to first. You have to put yourself into. And it could very well be that you have decided to put yourself out there and make the investment um, to take the leap of faith. It's it's um, and what you're being told and, and and the message is that it's good, it's all good. The universe is going to take care of you. 
You're not going to be completely lost. You're not going to have lost anything. You're not, you're, you're, you're going to get, you're going to get everything back and more. You know, the level of your investment, it's sort of asking you to maybe do the right thing, right, right, no, no. Bring your ideas to life. Yeah, you are definitely wanting to start something here. Want to commit to something, want to... You're ready. You're so ready for this to happen, for this to be realized, for this to come to life. Aries, do it. That's all I can say. Um, right now, I feel like you're trying, you're trying, you want, you want firmer ground. You want to feel more solid. You want to feel more sure. This isn't about certainty. This is literally about your leap of faith. It's how big is the leap is going to determine how big is the, the rewards. The size of the leap is directly proportional to the amount of the rewards. You have... You are never alone. So in other words, you have personal support, but you are loved. This is about a leap of faith in love. I don't intentionally do relationship readings. I don't. Uh, I do them in, in the extended, but this is about a leap of faith in love. Slow and steady wins the race. Maybe something that you've stuck it out. Maybe you're dealing with a Cancerian. You finally have a feeling of being emotionally stable or you finally found somebody that is emotionally stable. A rebirth is assured. It's taking a long time to get there. There's an energy of um, you, you've hung in there forever. You, 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 this this scorpionic energy too. This could be getting a, a revitalization, coming back, something. It could be transforming. Um, it's, uh, it said a rebirth is assured. So um, somebody's coming back from the past. Somebody that, that needed to go away from you to heal themselves. Somebody that needed to be okay with who they were. Um, this is regenerative, regenerative energy, a change, but it, it, and it could be you, you needed to take a break to get your head on straight, to get into that place where you could feel secure. And, or and this is telling you over the next seven days, create yourself, take care of yourself, heal yourself, take that time and take that space. Because honestly, you're going to need that kind of strength, um, in order to, move forward and you should move forward this this is definitely be, you're being called to move forward to take the leap of faith in whatever this romantic situation is or whatever this is that you have a lot of passion about it's going to take a lot of courage because i do i do i feel this i oh i feel like almost this overly pragmatic side of you to just say like but this isn't right and this isn't right and this is you're going to come up with a thousand reasons why you shouldn't but you only need one reason why you should. Really, right? Isn't that Lady Gaga? And she's an Aries too. Oh, how it, that's really interesting. And, and I'm getting that line. Um, you've got a thousand reasons to walk away, but you only need one good one to stay. But you have one good one. And that is that you still believe in this. You don't want to give up. And where your heart is and where your momentum is, where your ambition is, is where you are. You're in this. You're in this for the long haul. And I do believe that the moment, momentum, almost like a, in my mind, I'm seeing the snowball rolling. Aries, this is like you, you will build this momentum even if there's nothing there. And the universe will respond to that. So maybe this isn't about love and romance. This is about your entrepreneurship. You're taking a leap of faith. You're getting a new job. Whatever it is where your heart, it's like, listen, your heart is going to tell you. You need to listen to your heart this week because Aries, your heart is going to tell you that you're going to take this leap. It's going to be a decision of head over heart. You're going to take this leap of faith this week. You need to take this leap of faith this week. You need to invest in where your heart is because you've got this. 
You're, you're stable. Your resources are high. You can do this. You are, you are poised, even though it doesn't look like it on the outside. You are poised to be able to carry this through and bring this to fruition. There could be a spark coming from somewhere that you, there wasn't a spark for a long time. It's almost like this is an energy of you finally feeling magic works through you. This is more Cancerian energy. This is that magical, mystical, metaphysical aspect of Cancerian energy of just knowing and generating and creating, you know, that, that magical mother energy of taking something and making it into taking a little bit like a, like a mother. What is, what does a woman do? She takes a sperm and she makes it into a baby. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the kind of miracle that's working, not just through you, but inside of you and maybe even to you this week, taking that little, little bit, that little piece and making it into something extraordinary. And I feel this energy in it's in, it's right here in my gut of, you know, you can do this. It doesn't make any sense. You have to stop trying to make it make sense um, because that's just stalling and you don't, you're not going to stall anyway. You're a rocket, a, you're a rocket ship about to explode. You're taking off. This is blast off Aries. This is, that's what this energy is. You know, a part of you is almost has a headache in trying to make this make sense because it, it's like, your brain doesn't work that fast. It's not going to be able to make sense of this. You just have to trust the numbers that come to your head. Just trust them. Just let it all out. Let it roll out. Gibberish, nonsense, the craziness. It doesn't matter. What matters is it's the energy is real and you have to let the energy flow through you. There's a block here. There's a no. I want to understand this. I, I want to, I, you can't. It's, it's going to come through you whether you like it or not. I haven't gotten this card. This lit, this card literally has not appeared for months. And now here it is. Spirit is working through you. This isn't a choice. This is a momentum. It's almost like your assignment and you could feel it. You could feel that push beyond your rational self beyond. What did I say? Magic is working to you. It's working in you. It's working through you. It's, it's working on you. So there is definitely some um, kismet alignment happening in the cosmos. And I'd really like to check your charts to see, Aries, what's going on? Because there's this, there's this energy of you're being tapped. You're being called upon. That's what this energy is. And I know that sounds a little too metaphysical. But what that translates to in the 3D is this is destiny. This is fate. It's something that you can't fight. It's not going, in other words, it's not going to make sense to you. So stop trying to be practical. There is nothing practical about this. It had to happen. It had to happen and it has to keep happening. And you have to let yourself explode and just go with it. You're taking the lead. You're blazing the trail. This is divinely incited. This is divinely catalyzed. They lit the fire under your tush for a re for like, because you, you are meant to explode. You're meant to take off. There's a lot of energy over here that all fell out. It's interesting because I thought that it was all in reverse and none of it was in reverse. This is a, a loyalty. This is heavy Cancerian energy, but this is a loyalty and a love that goes a lifetime. This could be a, your actual mother. Dealing with your actual mother, a support, love from her, uh, encouragement, uh, uh, you know, a message coming through saying, I'm going to be with you forever. I love you like crazy. I, I've got your back here. This is eternal. This is also balanced. It's more Libra energy. There's a lot of Libra energy here too. A very a, a energy that's going to go the distance that you can trust in and you can rely in. This is deciding long term that you have something that you're not going to let go of and won't let go of you. But it's not just romantic energy, though. This really does imply a lot of romance. This is La Vie en Rose. This is rose-colored glasses. And you don't want the rose-colored glasses on. You're, you're for, you, you want to understand it and see it and control every aspect of it. But you're not going to be allowed to do that. 
To make this work, you have to literally keep those glasses on and take this foolish, foolish mistake, make this foolish, foolish decision to leap before everything is ready because now's the time. Wow. Sweet results await and know your worth. Be sure of yourself, be certain of yourself, know exactly who you are and know, know that this is what's coming in your future. Everybody is going to know your name. Everybody is going to be aware of you. Know how, uh, know how valuable you are. You are sweet like honey. You are valuable. You create magical things. Like bees take pollen and they make honey, this delicious substance. And it's necessary and it nourishes everybody. This is the sun shining down on you and everything going your way. A huge, major breakthrough is coming for you, Aries. But you have to know your self-worth. Don't hang around in places that are trying to pull you down. Get out of there. Leave. It doesn't have to make sense. You do have the resources to walk out of that job. You do have the resources to leave this marriage. You do have the resources to walk towards something that does love you and does care about you. You do have the ability to make something happen, something real. And you're going to be pushed to do, to do it. You can, I'm, you can already feel the tension and the energy inside of you this week. Not allowing you to stay put or to stay settled. There's also this energy and this confirmation of something that you've dedicated yourself to wholeheartedly. You have actually alchemically changed so that it, it's going to go your way. It's almost like the universe wasn't on board and now it is because you have alchemically molded it to be the way that you've designed it. This is the world of your design. That's how absolutely powerful and strengthened you are this week. It's like literally Superman with his with his x-ray vision or his like laser beams, like just molding something that, that wasn't, it's almost like it wasn't meant to be until it was invented in your mind. And now it is, it's real. I'm going to turn the camera angle around to review the cards so you can see the whole spread. It's happening. Sweet results await. Once you believe in yourself and you know that everything is, that, that you've done it that you've, you've gotten through, you've broken through. Magic is working on you. There is this now, it's almost like it's a light coming down from the heavens and it, it infusing you with this power. It's like you have changed the way of the gods. It's like Aries, you've sort of redesigned everything. It's this tremendous, this tremendously powerful energy of humbling energy. There's a lot of Cancerian energy and a lot of Libra energy here. Libra and Cancer, Libra and Cancer, balance and nurturing and bringing something into life. Healing something, balancing everything. And this card has not made an appearance for months. And now it's here. Like the white, white stag magically showing up in your reading to say that you're blessed, you're called upon. This is a sign. This is a sign of progress. This is a sign of newness. This is a sign of a totally new direction. You're inventing something, creating something. You're transforming yourself. It's almost like through transforming yourself, you literally got all the resources to transform everything around you. This is all very esoteric. I'm going to go over and extend this reading. Why? To see who and what is actually engaged and involved. And I'm going to pull your love reading too. I'll see you at the extended areas.